What do you think, so, Mike? I, I am uh, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I don't think we guessed any of them correctly, though, in the pre-show. And we we missed. We missed the under. We did. Well, what did he bring, 16? Well, if you count Amy's, if you count Amy's special little care package, it's over 16. Yeah, the line was 12 and a half. Yeah, we well, I don't know that I count Amy's because I, I, I knew that there were some coming for Amy. How many punch keys is Nate Fritz going to bring? That's what we said. Yeah, well, okay. he, but we set the we set the number and we set the line at 12 and a half anyway, even without Amy's. It's, it's the over. All right, so what should we start with here, Nate? Um, I don't know, whatever one you want to start with. I think we start with, I think we start with traditional. We go with what is what's in the chocolate one? Jump before that mic there. So chocolate is a variation of a mudslide drink. So it's got Bailey's Kahlua cream inside and then chocolate ganache on the outside. I'm not sure I'd really call that traditional, but it looks yeah. amazing. And he put Dippin' Dots Dippin ice dots cream on the yeah. top for garnish. Yeah, all right. So I'm going to take this one here and cut it in half. All right, I'll take half of that, Mikey. I want that, that's, and, the, that's my favorite one on the tray, I think. And maybe Zach can cut another one in half here. Oh. Hmm. It's gonna be a lot of mouth noises out there, folks. If you're <laughs> not feeling that, I apologize in advance. Do we have a? Are we just gonna? Are we just? Gonna, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna Get take. That. We're, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take one bite. Yeah, a little little food music. How? Where's my mahogany music? Hmm. Well, Mike, you're first. To, you're first to dive in. It tastes like a mud, it's, the middle stuff definitely tastes like a mudslide. Yeah, this is legit. Smiley. This is, this is, um, dessert the knife is in your gross. mouth. I mean, <laughs> where else you put it, Mike? Right. Okay. True. True. So this is, uh, this is really good. Okay. So, so it's a mudslide. Where'd you come up with the idea? Uh, kind of going towards like New Orleans style drinks. Um, and food uh, to kind of fit in with Fat Tuesday. Um, your wife actually kind of inspired me with her white Russian addiction. Not addiction. I don't want to say she's an alcoholic. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean. <laughs> so well, then so credit to Zach because he about. guessed that it might be a white Russian flavored type of yeah. Okay. Wow. That was really good. Really good. We're we just gonna keep diving right into these, just one after the. I mean, we gotta talk a little bit, don't we? There you go. There's my. <laughs> there's my music. Wow. Okay. So we went with um, traditional first. What is second on this list? Um. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with the strawberry looking one. All right. So that is uh, a lemon curd on the inside. Um, strawberry frosting. Uh, what else on there? I got crushed freeze-dried strawberries, and basil. I'm not a huge lemon, or lemon guy, but I'm, I'm still going to, I mean, you got to try them all, right, at this point? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to, oh, that. We got the Carol X's perspective literally happening right now as Jake is manning the camera up here. This is, I feel like this show has taken a turn today to a new, a new, uh, well, a new genre. Yeah. This is going to be a lot better if someone watches it on the YouTube page than necessarily listening to us talk <laughs> right now, but we're trying to paint, we're trying to paint a picture. We're trying to words. absolutely. Now this one is, um, if you like basil, uh, it definitely has that basil, basil kick and I probably got a little more of it than, uh, than Brandon did because I like basil. Uh, lemon curd is really good in the middle. Pink frosting, um, man, you can yeah, you can taste like if you like strawberry flavor too. This one is definitely for you. Uh, big fan, big fan. So what inspired this one? Uh, just randomness, pretty much. I was trying to think of a strawberry. Um, wanted to do a strawberry basil um, goat cheese, but I did the goat cheese last year, so I wanted to stay away from what I, I had already done. Uh, yeah, that was just a random one. I, I played with a few different flavors and that seemed to be uh, the top of the list from the staff. Wow, okay. Hmm. Miz, I know you're doing a good job holding down the floor, but you gotta get over <laughs> here and eat some of this stuff, man.
Actually, I almost feel like <laughs> I almost feel like we need like New Orleans, um, what you call it, music, Mardi Gras music with this. If you got some Fat Tuesday music, some Mardi Gras music, I do, yes. <clears throat> I do. All right, so Zach is now going into number three here, uh, Nate. And what is this one? Uh, that's the banana oh, cream. That's the banana cream, um, peanut butter, uh, banana cream, peanut butter, candied bacon. <laughs> uh, so kind of like an Elvis. Combine all of our guesses. An Elvis version of a punchki. Hmm. Don't skimp on the bacon there, Spaff. Yeah, I was going to give you that side that doesn't have it. Come on! I was going to take all of it. Why don't you grab some, <laughs> some of that ding, ding, extra ding, stuff? Ding. That's the one. This is the winner. That, winner. One's my, that one's my favorite. Oh, Hands yeah. Down, that one's my favorite. All but right. you're going to want to grab some of that banana right there. There we go, Miz. I like it. Damn. I'm slightly allergic to bananas. I don't care. I'm eating it anyway. We got an EpiPen in here? <laughs> no. Oh, damn! No, that was good. <laughs> well, you get the peanut butter. You get the peanut butter at the end of it too. Yeah, it's not overpowering. You don't get it at the very beginning of it. Um, but yeah, that's and you get definitely get the bacon. How do you feel about that one, Brandon? That one's awesome, man. That filling is holy crap. I think that'll be a that'll be a big seller today. I think uh, I did double of those. I think that's going to be the one to go. For. How many did you make total? 150. Wow. Okay. So, yeah. So, so they're going to go fast at four o'clock. Yeah, they'll go I'll fast. take 40 of them. For sure. Um, I've got most of them stuffed. Uh, went to Benny's Bakery in Celine last night. Uh, they fired up Punchki shells for me. And uh, yeah, all morning. I mean, it's been, what, five, six hours now of just stuffing Punchkis, which is not as fun as. In 10 time. minutes of stuffing our faces. Yeah. <laughs> So we have okay, 50 that was more to stuff when I get back to the brewery. So you're not done yet. No. All right. So I, I gotta say I don't know that I, that one and the mud slide are my two favorites so far. I don't think they can be beat. All right. What is the that final? one is outstanding? Yeah, that is get to Wolverine State Brewing Company today. The triple contrast of the banana, the peanut butter, and the bacon is yeah. like. Oh, it's got marshmallow mm. cream in the middle too. Out of oh, I forgot about out that of control. Again, so. That one is out of control. And then the last one is uh, inspired by the hurricane drink, which is a big uh, New Orleans Fat Tuesday drink. So, uh, what do I got now? That one is a passion fruit uh, mascarpone cheese inside and a orange glaze. And then mm. it has a cherry, like, grenadine drizzle on top. Wow. How do you feel about cherries, Mike? I don't love them. All right, well, I'll take that cherry when you're ready. Okay. I have a weird thing with cherries, but I like the taste of cherries. I don't like eating cherries on their own. <laughs> I know. I got news for you. I don't think you like cherries. No, I, I, I really, <laughs> again, I like the flavor, but I have mm. a thing against pits. Mm. Well, these ones don't have pits. Okay. So our final one here. This is my oh. second favorite behind uh, the, the, the last one. <laughs> what do we call it? Can we that's, just have that's we, a hurricane. Can we just have four oh, this favorites? One, yeah. yeah. Well, you can definitely taste like the alcohol in this one. That one. Which yeah. I like. <laughs> should I be concerned that I didn't taste the alcohol in it? Yes. <laughs> you should be. <clears throat> mm. If this is not incredible radio, I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that was good too, man. I right. got like a cheesecake vibe almost, man. That one's awesome. So rank them. What's what's your favorite? Um, what's your top two? We won't we won't punish the fourth place one. So what's your top two? The the bacon banana peanut butter one was my, my number one, and then this hurricane one was number two for me. I don't know. I like I like it when it's. I'm not a big sweets guy, so I like it when it kind of deviates a little bit flavor wise. Yeah, the bacon <clears throat> bacon banana one was out out of this world, man. Yeah. That was number one for me. Man, I really liked that. I didn't think I was going to like that one as much. The passion the fruit. citrus one. Orange drizzle. Not usually like my favorite, but that's really good. Yeah. I still think I got to go with the mudslide number two, though. That was awesome. I really like that that whole combo. The mo I guess the most traditional, even though it's really not. 
but that that mudslide one. And I'm going to go with the peanut butter, banana, bacon one, number one. I think we're all in agreement with that. We'll see what uh, Miz thinks in the break and what the Carol Alexis perspective thinks. But the fact that Jimmy Extras Nate was a smart move because that is <laughs> how much they how much they retailing for at Wolverine? Four bucks. Four bucks. Mm. Begin at four p.m. to kind of stick with your four, five, six happy hour, right? Pretty much, yep. And uh, you can also enjoy a beverage while you're there. Yeah, we've That's got. Cool. I've kind of yeah. like paired the poonchies up with some of the beers that we have on draft right now. So um, yeah, so there's definitely a beer to go with poonchies mm -hmm. because who doesn't want beer and donuts? Uh, and, you know. and that mudslide <laughs> for me is number two. Although I agree with you, Brandon. The most recent one, the last one here, the citrusy one, is really something good too. Is really something good too. WolverineBeer.com, 2109 West Stadium Boulevard um in ann arbor uh to to get those at 4 p.m if you haven't had your fill already if you missed out this morning have no fear nate has you covered outstanding delicious and amy even gets her own little personal care package to go home i mean just for one she's getting at least three maybe four she's, yeah she has for one she's getting three and she's getting the peanut butter, banana, bacon one, which... Plus, stuff like this is just fun, man, because it's not it's not what you get every, you know, no. every year. You, you just want, like like I said, a couple of those wouldn't be my first choices, but I, I immediately just wanted to try them all because they're different and you like, don't know what it's going to be. So yeah. I would say just go there and, and try them, even if it's not in your wheelhouse. S bring $16 with yeah. you. Just, get, just knock them out, man, for real. And get four different donuts and maybe a flight of beers. And call and and that's just your your uh, Tuesday afternoon. Awesome, man. Yeah, really good, Nate. Thank you again. Thank you for being crazy in the head to come <laughs> up with all these really creative things. You are very welcome. It's always always fun coming up with. Uh, even last night as I was going to bed, I had like so much stuff that I wanted. I'm like <laughs> I could literally come up with like thirty flavors for tomorrow, but I knew four was definitely going to be a lot of work. So. Uh, yeah, the recipe book is filled for next year, so uh, start planning for next year. Oh, no, we will. We <laughs> will. All right, so Wolverine State Brewing Company, check them out 4 p.m. today to get your punch key every day to enjoy great, uh, great beer and great food. Uh, Nate, uh, thank you so much. And, yeah, we're going to talk some more. We like this idea of coming up with four beers on our own for a little bit of uh, inside the huddle type thing. We'll get into that. Uh, coming up in this 11 o'clock hour, True False Tuesdays. Mel Pearson at 12 o'clock. I know he wanted us to save him a punch key, so we definitely will. This is Inside the Huddle on Sports Talk 1050. WTK Ticket.